Here we go. We got that challenge again. 1959 Gibson EBO second generation um, humbucker, uh, sidewinder, mudbucker versus 1970 Marshall Major, as you hear it in the right ear, versus the early version, very early version, uh, Sans Amp Bass DI. The one where you set it and forget it. So, with the uh, tone control fully closed and the volume wide open. with the tone control um, wide open. Now with the tone control in the uh, right in the middle. Just a little above, I consider that the sweet spot. So, this has the 50s wiring. Um, I'll put a picture up of it. Um, it's very hard sound to manipulate. I mean, um, if you're afraid of this Marshall, I mean, it's um, it sounds great, especially being far from the distance, but like um it's temperamental it's dark it can be chocolatey i mean this is that's all the way close you still get your harmonics now i got flat wound pyramids pure nickels um so i'm gonna say this uh if anybody knows anything about the bright caps anybody knows anything about amplifiers well these old marshals they're very, very high voltage, um, number one, and this is a beast. It's not even on, not even near one. But actually, what I had to do was I switched out the ECC83, which is a 12AX7. It's, it's the European version, the ECC83 for ECC82, which is a 12AU7 which has a 60% gain as opposed to 80 to 100% which is the 12AX7. The reason why I did that was because on these old Marshalls when you turn the volume more up it's essentially like working kind of like a tone a tone control so the more open you got it the more clearer it sounds otherwise it would sound like an ice pick all the way down um, at a low volume but this is what gives it a nice, deep, warm, creamy sound. So, that's the, um, that's just the way, uh, the nature of this beast is. Now I'm going to attach another video, okay, where I'm going to make this thing do some crazy stuff. So, watch it, alright?